If your garage door won't close and there's a lot of blinking going on, you're going to need some safety sensor help. I'm Travis with Parts for Garage Doors, and we'd like you to come visit one of our locations in Houston. We have a location on the west side of Houston. We also have a channel view location on the east side. Today we're talking about safety sensors. Um, they're all different kinds of safety sensors. This one is actually for a Genie, uh, the Genie Universal type here. Um, a more common one is this type of safety sensor, uh, which can be used for your Chamberlain, Craftsman or LiftMaster units and of course they fit on a bracket with a butterfly nut and they are adjustable up and down in and out. So let's talk about your safety sensors. If your garage door will not close and the head unit just blinks that may be an indication that your safety sensors are out of alignment or there's something in the way of the safety sensors or possibly they could even be dirty and just need to be cleaned. So the first action is not to pick up the phone and call your service company. They're going to charge you $100, $200 no matter what they do, maybe even more. So the first thing that you do is check your safety sensor alignment. Make sure that they are aligned properly. If the safety sensors are not aligned, then the operator thinks that there's something in the path of the door so it does not allow it to close. Now it will allow it to open always. It'll always open up. That's not a part of the safety feature. But when the safety sensors are not working properly, the door will not close. So the first thing to do is check your, your safety sensor lens, um, the glass part here in front. Make sure that it's clean. Wipe it off with a cloth. Make sure there's no dust, dirt, grime. Sometimes there might be a leaf uh, even covering the lens. And so that's going to cause it to act up and not close. So after you've cleaned your lenses, make sure that they look relatively straight. One needs to be pointing directly at the other. Um, there is no tool to do this, but you're just going to eyeball it. Um, keep in mind that they can be pointed in or out, up or down. And so one of them might just be slightly off one way or the other. And so if you take an educated guess and just kind of uh, turn them a little bit, you might just solve your problem really quickly and then there's no need to do anything else. After you've looked at the safety sensor alignment, you also need to take a look at the wiring. Look at the condition of the wire up and down the wall, up and down the ceiling. Make sure that there's no staples that have stapled into the wire. Um, it may have lasted for years that way, but possibly if it corroded and through moisture and through movement, um, now it's shorting out. So that is a possibility. We've seen that happen. Um, check your connections on any splices. You might want to remove any tape or anything like that and re-splice the wires, retwist them, get a fresh new connection on the wires. Sometimes that's the issue. Also go up on top where the motor unit is and check your connection going into the motor. So that also may have, through vibration, through usage, may have slipped out of the top of the motor. Wires, they do corrode over time uh, when exposed to moisture. So particularly in the Houston area, sometimes your wires can break, they can become brittle, they can corrode, and when they break, they're not going to work properly. So do check for that. So after checking your lenses, making sure they're clean, making sure the alignment is accurate, checking the wiring to make sure that it's all good, um, both going into the motor and along the wall. If it's still not working, you may need to replace your safety sensors. And uh, we do sell those here at our store locations. Replacing your safety sensors is definitely something that you can do as a do-it-yourselfer. Should take you 10 minutes, if that. Um, a lot of times there's gonna be a butterfly nut that you can loosen by hand. You're gonna take the old one off the bracket, Put the new one on, tighten that butterfly nut. Uh, you may have to splice the wires if you choose to do that. Uh, make sure you have a nice, good, clean connection. Or you can run a new bundle of wires all the way up to your motor unit. And that's probably the cleanest way to do it. We sell safety sensors from $30 to $45, depending on which brand you need. 
It's not too expensive. We've got exactly what you need if you have a genie, chamberlain, craftsman, lift master. Those are the standard, most commonly used openers on the market. If you get a chance, come visit one of our store locations. We're located on the Katy Freeway, just west of Beltway 8. That's our Houston location. And this one here is in Channel View, um, just on the East Freeway, east of Beltway 8. When you come into one of our stores, our helpful staff, they will answer all the questions that you have. Please feel free to ask anything. There, is no, there are no dumb questions, and we'd be happy to help you as much as we can. We wanna make sure that you're project goes efficiently and safely and we want to make sure that you pick up the exact parts that you need. Thank you for watching our safety sensor segment today. We want to invite you to come visit us. We are locally owned and operated. Our prices are similar to what you would find online. Come visit us at one of our store locations. We'd be happy to serve you and we'll see you when you get here.